Hey, what's good all? How's it going? And thanks for tuning in to my latest video. If you didn't read the title, of course, this is Cherry on Pop, episode 3. This week was kind of slow. It really wasn't much that was announced. There's only actually two items that they announced. So, I have a couple unboxings for Pops that I got this week, and then I got a special unboxing for the end of the video. Just figured as something I'd throw in because I'm going to be unboxing it anyway, so why the hell not? Let's just dive in and, you know, show off what I was going to do. So, first and foremost, with what they announced this week, only two items. Uh, first, it, uh, the two items are exclusives. They're their specialty series coming out in June. Really, a lot, a lot more difficult to get. You're going to get them in specialty shops, smaller stores, small, you know, comic book shops, stuff like that, where you're going to find it, not the big box stores that you're used to. So, the two items that they announced, the first is Adorbs. It's Iron Fist. Pretty sick looking. I like it. I like it. Waiting for the show. If you haven't uh, heard yet, we just did a whole Iron Fist episode on Unleashing, so... I will actually, I'll link it down below so you can go check it out. I mean, it, we talk, we dove into a lot about the comics and what the show is going to be about and all that. So please go check that out. Then the other item, which I already knew was coming out, but they really haven't officially, officially announced it yet, uh, was X-Men Iceman. And it's their, like I said, especially series, badass looking. What do you think? So... That's it for announcements. Let me know if you're going to try and uh, find those. I want to try and find the Iceman. I know, of course, you know, Ryan, the uh, Mr. Ryan Talks Nerdy on there, big X-Men fan. Yes, he's. I know he's going to be looking for it. So, But we'll see if we can find it. I have not seen any specialty series close by where I live yet, so who knows. All right, next up, of course, we have some unboxings. Now, these two that I got are to finish off a series that I started and unboxed already. The first one is Mysterion, so South Park. I figured uh, one of my favorite shows of all time. Love, love, love the series, and it keeps just seems to get better, even though it's you know twenty seasons. So uh, figured uh, I gotta get the rest of these. You know, I picked up Zombie Kenny and showed that off last week, and of course we have Mysterion here. And then next up we have, of course. Butters. Good old Butters. Which you've already seen me with Cartman and Ike uh, Bravlowski. And of course, like I said, just Zombie Kenny. So I'm excited to see when they're going to drop the next set, Series 2. Hopefully it's exciting. But here's Butters for you. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I'm glad I picked these up. I'm, I'm really, really glad. So they're going to go along with my other ones, the Cartman and all that. So... And then next up, of course, the unboxing, which it's not pop related, but it's something huge that just came out. Yes, it dropped yesterday. And the item that it is, is my, well, no, I'm just kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Don't want to show that off first, but we are unboxing the Nintendo Switch. Yes. Oh! Yes, I am excited. I am excited. So let's dive on in and just show off what we have. I know there's unboxings out there. There's tons of them already. People have had them for over a week, showing it off. You know what? Oh, well. You know, it is what it is. So as you can see, once you first open it up, you've got not only the Switch itself, the screen, which is really small compared uh, smaller than I expected it, it's like an 8 inch tablet almost so huh it's got all the all the the power the volume the spot for the game card to go in at the top um, we have on the bottom we have the USB C and then there's the kickstand on the back with the memory card expansion, which I have to get a memory card. It's kind of hard to see, but yes, I got to pick up a memory card for it so I can expand it. But right now I'm only getting Zelda, so that's the only game I have. So next up we have our Joy-Con controllers, which not too big, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I You know, nothing, nothing special. 
but we have our right and left Joy-Con controllers. I went with the gray. I like these better. I wasn't a big fan of the red and blue. But then after I've seen them, I kind of want to get those as my second set. But we will see. We will see. And, of course, I was holding one of them upside down. But whatever. So to connect them, it's real simple. They just slide right down and snap in. And there's a little button on the back to take them off. Nice. Which expands your your screen quite a bit. I mean, I like it. I'm 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 digging it. It's it's a little more sturdier than I expected. So and a little better built. So definitely, definitely wasn't sure what to expect. And then next up, we of course move into the actual inside the system and whatnot. Uh, first that we are opening up is. This, which kind of expands your controller. It is not the charging one, which I need to get the charging one. This does not charge. It's just, just literally to add your Joy-Con controllers in. So you slide them just like on the other one. And it turns it into a full-blown controller, which I like that, the feel. Might be, I mean, I don't have very big hands, so I can't imagine someone with big hands playing around with this, but yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Next up, we have two items which will, they slide right onto the side. Um, but it's the straps. So there's two of them, one for each one, for each Joy-Con. It looks like it extends. Hmm. Um. Oh, there's buttons on the side. That's why. So it's just buttons on the side. I didn't even notice that. Cool, cool, cool. We have, of course, just warning labels and stuff like that. And then we got the base unit. Which this I've heard is kind of a little, feels like a little cheaply made, but we'll see. Yeah, so nothing special. This is what you're going to plug the actual unit into. Um, hmm. Yeah, so it just fits right in there. You've got on the back, comes down, as you can see right in there. We've got the AC adapter, USB, and also HDMI out. You can close that. It kind of neatly puts the wires together for you. There's a couple more USBs on the side. Um, USB-C charger, but they do regular USBs. Interesting. Interesting. And then finally, of course, it's just your basic AC adapter. which is the USB-C, I believe. Yes, that's a USB-C, and then you've got your HDMI cable. So, that's it for the box. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. A little added bonus to the video, make it a little longer and enjoyable. If you did, hit that like and follow down below. Also, the rest of the social media is down there, so please go check everything else out. Uh, if you want to see me, if you want to hear a review about what I think of the Switch, let me know in the comments because I'm going to start playing t tonight, which this will be last night that I'm actually recording it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be, of course, playing the Zelda game, which I might as well, while I'm doing this, do that, uh, talk about it. But yeah, so please go check out all that other stuff. Uh, let me show off what your actual... the case it's that's the game disc no i am not gonna lick the game disc that's no that's just dumb i don't know why people are doing it but it looks like a little memory card so so yeah so yeah hit that like follow all that fun stuff down below as always though please don't forget to unleash your inner nerd and i will see you next video peace